what is up youtube i've been thinking about doing an area restricted account for a really long time now since i love playing epic 7 and i figured what greater way than to challenge yourself than to settings up some insane limitations for your account to follow meet my new account katie's 13 only when creating this challenge there were two things that were certain number one i wanted to be the first to attempt a katie's only account number two i wanted to show the community how far i can get with this challenge in mind and number three i want to reach champion in rta by 2024 being completely free to play to know that there are no other accounts too ridiculous in this game i can't wait to extract all the potential this hunt has to offer and showcase it to you all and perhaps even unlock new playstyles if you're interested in this series i'll be doing please drop a like and comment below subscribe to follow along with the progress and i hope to see you guys on the next one without further ado let's hop right into the video all right so we are going to be starting with green iceria and you may be wondering what is the reason why we're doing iceria and not like vildred or cigarette or says or charlotte or something like that now green iceria is very very good she excels in kd's 13 she's also amazing in abyss as well as you you know eventually we're going to want to pull for tama with the story summons so this by far without question whatsoever is going to be really good because we can also get Sermia from the Hunt Expert Challenge, which which means that we're going to be able to have Tamarin, Iceria, and uh, Sermia, and plus one more unit as our fourth for our Kades 13. And even with just those three core units, you can run a three-man team. Uh, of course, depending on the gear. But, you know, we're going to start off with this, and let's move on. Well, 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 what do we have here? So it looks like we have to choose a Moonlight Hero to pull. Now, I think it's pretty clear that we should be taking Spectre to Nibria. I think there's no question. I don't think any of these units are going to be worth it. This is obviously good for Guild War. This is good for farming, but there's other units that you can use for farming. So we're going to go ahead and take Spectre to Nibria. And we're going to try to prioritize this as much as possible because we need to get our ASAP to start climbing an arena to farm those Sky Stones, right? So let's go. Even as a new account, I'm still going to be going for Huche refreshes because, you know, Charms are so hard to come by, even though you get an abundance of them as a starter. I think as if you can get Huche and you have the gold to buy it, you should always be spending time to buy it. And I've been doing this even since the day one of uh, starting the account. And I think everyone should be focusing on this and don't neglect this at all. All right, this is going to be a pivotal moment on the account here where we are going to be unlocking Fire Sermia from the Hunt Expert Challenge. And um, as we mentioned, uh, the exceptions are to get the three heroes, Sigrid, Vivian, and Sermia from the Hunt Expert Challenges. Once we're done with that and all the reputation, we're going to go straight into Katie's. But let's uh, let's grab the Sermia here real quick. And we can start pushing for all of these um, little freebies. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next clip. Another thing that I'm going to be pushing for is making sure I can try to get to gold 5 in arena as soon as possible. And the reason specifically gold 5 is because we need to unlock Spectre Tenebria as our Moonlight Blessing hero. And one of her requirements is to actually get gold 5 in arena. So that's why I'll need to try to do this manually to increase my chances of you know not dropping any um, flags and wasting them. But it's going to be pretty grindy because I, I am assuming that eventually at some point, maybe in like silver, I'm going to be very, I'm going to have to be very selective with the teams that I'll be attacking. But, you know, overall, you know, it's not going to be too bad, but this will be one of the primary focuses as well early, early game here. I think one of the things that all new players should also follow as well is making sure that you're pushing Abyss and Labyrinth every single day since you never want to let those currencies just go to waste and that's going to be one of my primary focuses as well is to push Abyss every single day, push Labyrinth every single day so that I don't lose out on any value whatsoever and obviously there's rewards that are going to be really beneficial as well things like you know epic runes or bookmarks or mystic metals or you know silver transmit stones that are really hard to come by in the beginning of the game i think are all going to be very crucial to the progression of this account but for me i'm going to be pushing this every single day whenever i have new refreshes or if i can buy it from the labyrinth shop i definitely won't spend leaves on it but i'm definitely going to be pushing it every day so that we can get the value out of here you know, I gotta say, I didn't think I'd have to uh, be farming unrecorded history on a new account so early on, but I guess I do because it's actually really hard to promote heroes from 5-star to 6-star when you first start out, especially since they don't really give you any, like, black um, phantasmas things anymore or the epic spirit blooms. 
So you actually literally have to buy it from the Forest of Souls with Stigma, which seems a bit counterintuitive. I hope that maybe Smellgate maybe changes this, uh, since I can see this really being a barrier of entry for new players. But, you know, hey, I, I love unrecorded history. I love stacking AP, and, you know, why not, right? But I think this is something that you know, they can maybe try tweaking a little bit, just so it makes the new player experience a little bit better. But that's okay. We'll farm in recorded history, and we'll get our first six star, and then we'll be able to progress further into the game. So just got to be patient. Alrighty. Well, after hours and hours of farming, we finally got another 42,000 stigma for the epic purple spirit wells, which we're going to summon. So now we have 20. And as you can see, we need to promote a five star, promote a five star to continue our adventure log. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing. And uh, given that we will be needing to farm a lot of adventure, now I'm thinking Free Spirit Thierry would probably be the one I'm going to be going for. Um, Commander Lorena is definitely a good option as well since we'll be using her in C13. But thinking that we're not going to be at C13 just yet since we need to get Tamarin first, we're just going to go ahead and promote um, Free Spirit Thierry since she'll be our primary farmer. And uh, yeah. It's, it's nice uh, it's nice to get this out of the way so we can progress further down the log, but uh, let's keep going. Now, are we going to get lucky with the five galaxy bookmarks that we have? We already got Specimen Says, actually, on our first ML pool, so let's see if this luck has some good RNG. No purple shine. Oh, well, a Pillis imprint, I, I won't complain. That's fine. Well, it's about that time. I'm going to try to pull for Tamarin. I think I've gotten quite a few bookmarks and I'm kind of at a point on the account where I have to wait for kind of the days to refresh to collect new things and push a bit and stuff like that. So I figure, you know, why don't we try and go ahead for uh, Tamarin? Yeah, she's the one that we need. So let's hopefully get good RNG, right? Uh, we, we also started her side story, but uh, yeah, let's get Tamarin. Hopefully we one tap her. Come on, let the first episode be good. Let the first episode be good. Fill the hero journal. Let it be Tamron, please. I'm an, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to rope all of you guys because I don't have a lot of the artifacts and heroes on the account since this is a brand new account. But, uh, oh, oh, okay, never mind. So you guys are gonna be with me along the ride. Oh, she's good for expedition, not bad. Is that her? Uh, wait, no, it's not. Silk? Oh, Kawazu. Okay, I'll need that for imprints. That's fine. Another three star. Another three star. Okay, something I already have. All right, so two shines. Not bad. Hopefully, we get Tamarin here. Okay, maybe we get Idol's Shear for collect artifacts. Uh, Halag Land's kind of useless. No three star hero. Carmine Rose, not bad for Light Expedition. Not bad, not bad. Can't skip this either. Oh, Idol's Shear? Idol's Shear? Surely it's Idol's Shear. Oh, Duck's Noctis. Okay, that's not bad if I get like ML Pavel or something. Can't complain. Oh, this has to be Tamarin. Surely it's Tamarin. It must be. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm getting played. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's Azalea? Okay. Can't skip. Oh. oh my god, what a bait. What a bait. Cartuja. Okay. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I really hope we get Tamarin, man. Because if we don't, our life's going to be very tough. Mm, useless unit. But I guess I'll just uh, save triple S copies of the three stars. No shines? Bro... You gotta be trolling. Daydream Joker? Uh, Goblin's Lamp? Yikes. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The luck on this account is not starting out too good, eh? Uh, Helen? Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I really hope I don't have, I don't have the pity Tamarin. I was hoping we can get at least an imprint or something, but... Maybe I was being a bit too ambitious. Egg of Delusion. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, Terranor Royal Guard. Okay, okay. Shine. Oh my goodness. No way we don't get a shine. Oh, this game is torturing me now. Okay, we could use care for PvP. Okay. She's probably one of the units I'll need to build for uh for PvP, so take that. Uh okay, Pearl Horizon. Oh my god, dude. All these units that are useless but taking up time. Okay. Surely we gotta shine. Surely Sid? Uh Maya, okay. Oh, you were looking for Let me skip, please. Please let me skip. Nope. Still no tamarin. Alright, I guess we're buying uh some sky stones here. Oh my god. Send help. I might be hung after this. Alright, how much are we at? We're at 30 more. Alright, we'll do 10 at a time. Oh my god, boys. This is not good. Oh my god. I thought Smilegate was going to be supportive of this series, but I was wrong. I was so wrong. You know, respectfully, I don't care who is the voice actor for these three stars. You know? Respectfully. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't don't cuck me. <gasps> oh my god. This is not real. Oh man. Oh man. I hope this is not a preview of uh, what what the accounts RNG is going to be like when pulling units. Because uh, it's not looking too hot. Okay. Hatan. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna buy... We'll buy one Covenant bookmark for a hundred. And we're... Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, well... I guess that's how we get Tamarin then. We have to pity her. Damn, guys. Oh, uh, whatever. At least we got her. We didn't even get idols here, which kind of sucks. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. So we got the Tamarin. So, that's fine. I guess we'll do, uh... We'll do, we'll do 10 into the Hawk for the memes. And just so I can get another gold transmit stone. One tap? Ain't no way I one tap. Ain't no way. Okay. Never mind. I'm played. Okay. I'm getting finessed. Okay, Helga's useful at least for PvE. Taka Hell's Ancient Book? Uh, nope. Oh, come on, game. Melanie? Alright, well, that wasn't worth it, was it? But, we'll do our Galaxy Summons in just a second then. Alrighty, so surely with our bad Tamarin luck, we'll get an ML5 here, right? Surely. Ho I, I actually hope I get ML Kawana, because she'll be really good for C13. So, fingers crossed, we get ML Kawana. Okay, that's not that's not a good start. <laughs> Arrowell, maybe? I'll take an Arrowell. I need Arrowell for PvP. Oh god, it's Axe God. Alright. Oh my, Arrowell? Oh my, oh my god, the pain. <laughs> okay, at least it's new. Can I have Arrowell, please? Celeste, Arrowell, please? Gloomy Rain? All right, top right, top right. All right, that sucks. Alrighty, well, on the bright side, at the end of this video for the first episode, on the bright side, at least we have Sermia from our Hunt Expert Challenge, we have Spectre Tenebria unlocked, we have Commander Lorena fully specialty changed, 
and ready to go for C13. We have Iseria starting for C13. We have Tamron for C13. So overall, the C13 team right now is looking like Iseria, Tammy, Sermia, and Commander Larina. I think that's a pretty good team overall, so I just need some of the gear. And um, it's going to be tough because I'm not going to have speed set. I'm only going to have pen set, and it's, it's going to be very difficult. But hopefully we'll be able to manage with some of the free gear that we get from the adventure stuff later on in the account. But that's going to make it for the rest of the video, I guess. We're going to wait for episode two since that's all the content I can give for now. And hopefully you guys will enjoy. Please subscribe if you want to follow for the next episode. I promise you I'll try to fill in as much content as possible. And please drop a like and comment below to help me out with the algorithm. I really want this to kind of get everywhere. But if not, it's totally fine as well. I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. But anyhow, I'm checking out. KD's 13 only is a pretty good start. We're in good hands. And I'll see you guys on episode two. Bye.